Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to install SQLite in your Windows 10 machine. So go to the sqlite.org website, click on download and scroll down to look for the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. Within that, you want to download this one that says SQLite Tools Win32 and just click on this and it's a zip file and save it in your folder, any folder that you want to save it in. And here it's already been saved in my machine so I'm just going to cancel here and uh, and the next thing you want to do is you want to right click on the downloaded file and you want to extract the files just click extract here and I did that and here is my extracted files as you can see this this extracted folder contains three .exe files of these uh, the second one sqlite 3.exe is the one that we'll be using at this point now ideally what you want is you want to be able to open any directory and let's say i'm just going to create my directory here uh, and you want to be able to open any directory and you want to be able to run sqlite on a data set in that directory so the way you would do that is you would click on this link here you would press cmd and uh, that will pull up the command prompt like this and you should be able to run sqlite 3 space test dot db but at this point sqlite 3 is not recognized because the file sqlite 3 is not located in this particular directory it is located in another directory and in order for you to be able to run that sqlite 3 in any directory in your windows machine you need to include the file path of sqlite 3 in the environment variable setting of windows so remember sqlite 3 is located here so what you want is um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a folder i'm going to create a folder within windows c called sqlite it's already been created here so if you don't have it i can just delete it and i can create a new folder uh, I'm just going to create a new folder called SQLite. Press enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to copy these three files and paste them in this SQLite folder here. And the next thing I want to do is I just want to take this SQLite folder and include that in the list of environment variables so to do that i'm just going to click here and just copy this four folder path and the next thing i want to do is i want to pull up the n environmental variable um, settings click here and go to path and path here click edit And you'll see a dialog box like this and within that you can just click new and you can paste this c colon sqlite or you can just type it in c colon backslash sqlite um, click ok and ok and ok now you can go back to your my directory and i can type in cmd to pull up the command prompt and i can type in sqlite 3 space test.db and now you can see that sqlite is available it has just opened up this folder this file called test.db in a new folder in a completely new folder which did not contain the original sqlite 3.exe file so if you have got to this part then it means that you can now start using sqlite anywhere in any folder in your windows machine I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.